in that Valvoline number 29 sits behind Aaron Cameron as Golding leads us into the chase. John Martin at the tail of the field, the Japanese driver Kadiyama as we go down to the chase the first time. Heard close. Oh, this is a big one through the chase here for boys. Just pulls it up. Oh, man, we've got more cars involved, but it's bad enough. It's off the track. So Mary Woo. and Mawson, two Team BRM cars. Oh, and Yoshi Kadiyama in the gravel. Where, how did that happen? We didn't even see it. Exactly. He was five seconds away from that group of cars in the chase the second time in two days. That car has got significant damage. And Nathan Hearn gets James, uh, sorry, Aaron Cameron just before the safety car's called. So that'll be a key moment from a championship points uh, point of view. Oh, look at the debris field down there. So, Kadiyama left of screen. That's Jordan Boys, who races for Image Racing in the Dunlop Super 2 Series. He's been really fast since jumping into the ACM Finance car for 88 Racing. Joss Group jumping on. And both BRM cars were involved in that somehow. Roberto Mary was dancing across the gravel on the famous rejoin zone on the exit of the chase by the hotel. But it was car number one, Joey Mawson, who was involved in the contact with boys. Now, Tim Macro's car has a header that's come off the number 23 entry. It's dangling just in the background. Wait till it goes to the left here. It'll pop out and say hello. We saw it in the shot coming through the cutting. So it wasn't loud enough before. It's going to be certainly loud now. But more importantly for Tim on a restart, it'll cost horsepower. Oh, yep. When the exhaust isn't funneled out correctly, that is a, a horsepower disadvantage. These cars tuned to about 470 horsepower this weekend. There's Japanese driver Yoshi Kadayama. So while all this was going on, the two GRM cars were squabbling. But have a look at this freight train. And Mawson had a look. He got a really good toe on... Oh, my goodness me. He got a huge toe on Jordan Boys. He looked down the inside, but there was no room there. And Boys turned across. And, uh, he's going to be the unwitting recipient of a car coming across his path in a dust storm. Oh, that's 290 k's in the approach into that corner. Two 360s, the boys had splits in between Mawson and Purdy, but what's for the 28 BRM car in the background? Oh. And just blindsided by the dust in that area too. Yeah. Here it is from Macro. Already sounds pretty average, so that head has already come off. Yeah, there, there wasn't room down the inside there, unfortunately. And these cars have tiny mirrors. That's a good example of the exhaust flapping around on Tim's car. They're very well secured at the back. I'm not too sure race control will be overly concerned about this. So that's the result of the contact. Lucky there wasn't any more significant sort of aerial events from those cars launching off the rear wheel. So broken corners on both of these cars and Yoshi Katayama who's right at the back of the frame. So Mary came oh. off because he was taking evasive action from these two. And into frame from the dust in a true Days of Thunder moment. Caddy is going to come into view out of control and crash into Jordan Boy's entry. Caddy who was out of quarantine early this week, didn't even get a chance to practice and qualify. Had a couple of sighting laps before heat number one. He'll arrive on the scene here in just a few moments' time. But there it is, oh. the contact from the 28 BRM car that was worked on late into the night to have it ready for this heat race today. Overall points will set the grid for the main event tomorrow. It's going to be another long day. Here it is. Coming into the chase. Big speeds. The drivers have been saying that the toe in these cars from four or five car lengths out isn't significant. But when you get closer, the, the suction effect, I suppose, as it draws you up is very, very rapid. But Mawson already had a nose outside Jordan Boy's car and got the nose down the inside as they tried to turn into the kink absolutely flat out. And now while all that was happening... The racing continued, and Aaron Cameron just ran wide at the final corner. And right before the safety car came out, Nathan Hearn grabbed the spot away. That could be key. And the race has just gone red flag, so they've decided to suspend this as a result of the damage and cars strewn across the chase.